it's Angela Prophet, and you're tuning in to Productive and Profitable Wedding Planning on APTV. Today's tip is always be positive, no matter what, focus on the positive. So many, many years ago, I had a real job, my job in healthcare, what I went to school for, and my fun job. My planning business at the time was my fun job, but this is one scenario where my paths and my lives crossed when I wish they had not. So I attended lots of different various meetings with physicians. One of them was Tumor Board, where monthly a bunch of oncologists would come together and discuss treatment plans that were rather unique based on patient because of the type of cancer that they had that was rather unique, something that they didn't see very often. So I'm sitting in Tumor Board meeting one day. There's 7 a.m., usually 6 or 7 a.m. meetings, and I'm you know, half asleep and taking notes because I'm not really a morning person at all. But anyway, I'm sitting there taking minutes for one of the physicians that I worked with, and when a patient's name came up, it was the same name as one of my client's mothers. And I had thought, oh, I hope it's not the same person. This is a horrible diagnosis. This is a horrible type of cancer, typically resulting in death. But unfortunately, they even mentioned in this meeting, because the primary care doctor was there to discuss a treatment plan with the oncology team, and unfortunately, it was my client's mom. And so I was hearing about this before the client even knew about it, because the doctor specifically said, her daughter's getting married in just a few months. My goal is to keep her safe, keep her alive, get her through the next few months so she can make it to her daughter's wedding. And I might add that her dad died when she was a little girl, and so I knew that if she found out, I could only imagine what she was thinking in her head. And her, her and her mom were so close. They were best friends. They came to every planning meeting to get together. They were really, really sweet, had a great relationship, which is not always the case with mothers and daughters. So eventually, the next meeting, I kind of knew it was coming already, that the bride was probably going to find out and break down, and sure enough, that's what happened. So from there on out, every planning meeting, there were many tears and negativity and her saying, what if I don't have a mom or a dad at my wedding? And I constantly had to draw back to that positivity board and tell her, your mom's here. We have lots of prayers going out for her. You only have to trust in God that she's going to make it to be here on your wedding day. And there's a bigger plan. There's someone else in charge. It's not you and it's not me, but let's have faith and let's stay positive. So I somewhat have to act like a therapist many times to focus back on the positive. But I, I'm not going to lie. It sent chills down my body when I found out, sitting in that healthcare meeting, that it was actually one of my clients. So the result, the bride had a great wedding day. Her mom made it. She's actually cancer-free today, and she's doing very well, which was not the outcome that is typical for this type of cancer. So again, we wanted to remain um, just focusing on the positive and don't let the what ifs continue to pull you down during the planning process. And if something negative does happen, let your client lean on you and let them cry on your shoulder because sometimes they just want you to listen. Did you like this video? If you did, like it, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can even leave me a comment, and if you have a wedding planning question, send it my way. If you want even more great resources to create a productive and profitable wedding planning business, plus some email updates from me that I only talk about in my email, come on over to my website, angelaprofit.com, and be sure to sign up for email updates. Thank you so much for tuning in to Productive and Profitable Wedding Planning on APTV.